There are just over 100 days left until the opening of the 2018 Winter Olympics in Pyeongchang. South Korea is doing all it can to promote the Games, and there are high hopes North Korea will join in too. In fact, the International Olympic Committee has pledged to cover all the costs for North Korean athletes if they do join. Our Olympics correspondent, E.G. Won, has more. The International Olympic Committee is reaching out to North Korea in a bid to get athletes from the reclusive state to join the fun in Pyeongchang. Radio Free Asia reported Saturday that the IOC is willing to cover all costs for North Korean athletes through its Olympic Solidarity Program if they participate in the 2018 Winter Games. The aim of Olympic Solidarity is to give assistance to national Olympic committees, especially for those with the greatest needs. On top of cooperating with the International Ski Federation and the International Skating Union for North Korea to join training camps and compete in winter sports, the IOC said a special support program has already been set up for the North Olympic hopefuls to join the Games. Unlike 2014, when no North Korean athletes qualified to compete at the Sochi Winter Olympics, figure skating duo Ryeom Deok and Kim Jujik are eligible to compete in Pyeongchang after meeting the requirements in September. With South Korean President Moon Jae-in inviting North Korea himself in his debut speech to the UN General Assembly last month, there's growing hope North Korea will accept the invitation. Meanwhile, the Olympic anticipation is building, with just over 100 days left until the Games kick off. The Olympic torch will arrive at Incheon International Airport from Greece on Wednesday, ahead of a 101-day relay around South Korea. A series of concerts and events will be held across the country during the week to further promote the Games. The 2018 Pyeongchang Winter Olympics open on February 9th and will run for 17 days. Lee Ji-won, Arirang News.